Hey folks, it's Pastor Jordan here coming to you with today's daily devotional uh, on this beautiful Friday. I guess we're supposed to get some storms a little bit later, so uh, I'm hopeful that you all stay safe and, uh, and that you're, uh, you're all well through that time um, and that the, the storms that come are a blessing to the earth that is in need of, of uh, watering. And, uh, and so we, we uh, give thanks for that and ask for God's protection as well um, in a time like that. Um, also, I wanted to let you know that we will be uh, gathering for worship online again this Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Time right here on this channel. So you can, uh, you can sign up uh, with your subscription to this channel and uh, set up alerts and that way you know uh, what's going on all the time. Um, and as always, I invite you to share uh, this with anyone that you think might be uh, interested in joining us for, for worship in this community. We would ask that, uh, that you'd pass the news along to anyone that, uh, that might benefit from it. Friends, neighbors, relatives, uh, whoever. Uh, let them know so that we can be a worship home in this time for folks. Another piece of news is that um, the, uh, the consistory, the group that leads our congregation, is currently working on uh, a reopening plan. So we will have something soon. Um, and, uh, and so that's a blessing as well, that we are moving in a direction where we can once again um, gather in person. So the details of that will be, be coming shortly. So that's, that's good news as well. Um, so today uh, we're looking at uh, Pentecost because, uh, as I as I mentioned earlier, um, this Sunday is uh, is Pentecost Sunday, and so a lot of the scriptures this week are are leaning towards the Spirit to the to the work of the the Holy Spirit. And um, and today's scripture comes from Romans. It's not a very long scripture, uh, but it is the scripture that reminds us that it is this Holy Spirit that connects us, that unites us uh, with one another, and then also with God uh, through Jesus Christ, that, um, that in that uh, blessing of the seed of divinity that dwells in each one of us, we are uh, united together with, with one another, with God uh, through Jesus Christ. And it's gonna talk in the scripture about us being heirs right? Heirs to, um, to that of God, um, whatever that might mean. And I, and I wonder if that's talking about the kingdom. We know that when Jesus uh, was proclaiming his, uh, his ministry and, and um, preaching his good news, what, what Jesus was saying was that the kingdom of heaven has drawn near. I've always taken that to, uh, to understand that um, Jesus came to tell us that something bigger is is out there. Something greater is a part of this this life and this world. And and then uh, he also, in saying that, talked about an invitation that we are invited into it. That we are we are offered um, a seat at the table at the the great feast in the kingdom of heaven. And and so when we hear these scriptures about being heirs, I wonder if that's what is being talked about. If we're, if we're inheriting um, our place in the kingdom and that that is given to us uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit that was poured out uh, after Jesus uh, ascended to heaven, it was poured out on all of his, uh, his people, his children, the children of God. And this invitation to the table uh, is there for all. And so I, I want you to think about it in those terms, that idea of, of being heirs, that idea of being uh, recipients of an invitation of, of those who are blessed with something. For that's what Jesus is talking about. He's talking about the fact that we are actually blessed with something otherworldly, something not of this realm, but of the kingdom of heaven, that kingdom that Jesus continued to proclaim has drawn near. He said there's a little seed of that, and it's called the Spirit, and he gave it to us that we might bear it. And so in that good news, we, we accept our invitation into that kingdom and, and to what that might look like how that might reflect in the way that we then live our lives. It's, it's a blessing 
uh, to think about the gift of the Spirit. So let's listen to these words. Scripture today is Romans 8, uh, starting at verse 14 and going through 17. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. In fact, we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. This is the word of the Lord. And in that short spirit, we, or short scripture, we, we hear about the spirit, right? We hear about, um, we did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back in fear, but a spirit of adoption, that the spirit that we have received has somehow invited us into uh, a family, the family with, with God as the father, Abba, Father, um, that, that beautiful cry of, of um, fatherhood, right? That, that we are called into that blessing. And, uh, and it's that that allows us to then have the strength to, to go through life when there are challenges. I, I wonder if you noticed at the end, it says, you know, well, there will be suffering still. Yeah, and uh, that's something we think about a lot, isn't it? Right? Why is there suffering? Why is there evil? Why is there pain? Why is there disease? Especially at this time, we might be thinking about that. And uh, I don't know if I have any good answers for that. But there is an understanding that uh, through the struggles comes a blessing. And so we have the strength in that invitation into the kingdom, that that. Uh, adoption into God's family, that, that we uh, have a spot at the table, and that suffering is never uh, a permanent state, but that there is this greater promise of a kingdom that has drawn near, an invitation and an adoption for us to our seat uh, at that great feast in the kingdom. So may that promise be with you today. May you, may you take that as, as there are different challenges and, and, and struggles. May you take that good news with you as you go uh, into this Friday. We'll close uh, today with prayer. This is a prayer that uh, Pastor Art sent over for us. Let us pray. Come Lord Jesus, be my guide. There is so much that is changing. The new normal will challenge me to change. Often my prayer is, let the same and familiar be the same and familiar. Forgive me, Jesus. There is forecast today of strong winds and thunderstorms. Lord, and you know I just put down that new grass seed. Forgive me, Lord. How does the prayer go? Let go and let God. Spirit of God, I hear your voice in all the wind. Your breath gives life to all living creatures. Hear me. I may need your strength and wisdom. Let me walk in beauty and make my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunset. Make my hands respect the things you have made and my ears sharp to hear your voice. Make me wise, O Lord, so that I may understand the things you are teaching me. I seek strength, not to be greater than my brother, but to fight my greatest enemy, myself. Amen.